Welcome to this section on vectors in two dimensions. Some quantities such as length and area and temperature are determined by a number, which is called the magnitude. Such quantities are called scalar. On the other hand, to describe the displacement of an object, two numbers are required, the magnitude and the direction. Similarly, while describing the velocity of a moving object, we discuss the speed and direction of travel. Quantities such as displacement, velocity, acceleration, and force that involve magnitudes as well as directions are called direct quantities. One way to represent such quantities mathematically is through the use of vectors. A vector in the plane is a line segment that has a magnitude or length with an assigned direction. The vector AB, as shown, has initial point A and end point B. Its magnitude is denoted by the absolute value of the ray AB. If we look at all these different vectors, you can see that they all look like they're going the same direction as the vector AB. Two vectors are considered equal if their magnitude and direction are the same. All the vectors shown above are the same. To understand this better, think about a vector as a displacement, meaning the moving of something from its place or position to another place or position. No matter how one gets from one point, the initial point, to the other, the end point, or where those points are, one's displacement is the same. If you think about this as moving from point A to point B, that will give you the displacement. Let's look at sums of vectors. To find the sum of two vectors geometrically, do one of the following. A, sketch vectors equal to the ones you need to add with the initial point of one at the terminal point of the other. As we can see, the orange vector represents the sum of the two vectors u and v, where v and u are stacked one next to the other, and then we connect the initial point of the first with the terminal point of the second. The next way we can think about this is to sketch vectors equal to the ones you need to add, starting at the same point, creating a parallelogram, and its diagonal is the sum. I've gone ahead and sketched the vector v alongside this diagonal parallelogram, so you can see how v is just written in two different places, so you're creating this parallelogram and then connecting the dots from the two points starting to the end point over here. Let's take a look at this example. We're asked to sketch u vector plus the v vector, and we're given these two vectors. So I'm going to draw an approximate u vector and an approximate v vector. And then I'm going to stack u and v together. So u starts, u plus v, of course you could add v plus u, it doesn't really matter. But I have stacked initial to terminal, initial to terminal, kind of like stacking expo markers up. You have each one stacked and the lids of the expo markers stick together. So it's kind of like the same idea with these vectors. And then you can connect the vectors starting at the first vector and ending at the, the end of the second vector. And so this that I just sketched represents u vector u plus vector v.